Okay, for some reason the truck has lost the spark, so we started with the distributor. And for some reason we didn't have a lot of success finding diagnostic information for the HEI distributor. So this is just kind of what we came up with. Uh, so first you obviously check, do like a visual inspection, make sure nothing's goofy. Uh, check the distributor is getting power and ground, which turned out to be our issue. But to test the coil in these distributors, you pretty much just go across these two for the primary coil and we're getting about half an ohm which is pretty good and then for the secondary you go across this ground to the point on the bottom and turn that up we don't have an auto ranging meter, so depending on what meter you have, you'll have to change the range in order to be able to see your reading. Ours is just a Harbor Freight meter, probably about $20. You can buy them on sale for cheaper, but it just shows you don't really need expensive tools to be able to diagnose simple things. So we couldn't really find any specs for the coil, we just kind of know from prior experience that they seem alright. The secondary winding will have more resistance than the primary winding and as long as you don't have a dead short or have extreme resistance like a couple hundred thousand they're usually pretty good and simple to test for. So then I'll put this back together real quick. So we got this back in now, just got the four screws, this ground lead goes to any one of those, put the two pins back in where they go. Um, then to check the pickup coil, go from one of these, to there. So these are just a little jumper wires so we don't ruin the terminals inside the connector. I need to change that. There we are. You're trying to find the pickup coil, so you use your meter and you find the one that actually has continuity between the two. There should only be continuity between two of those pins. All of the others should be open. Like so. Which means this pin is a pickup coil. And it's giving us about 6,000 ohms. It's good. So, we put this the rest of the way back together now. Sure if that's happy. So the next thing you can do, so we got this hooked up to the battery, this is just another jumper wire. So we got that battery positive hooked up to positive, then negative, these just ground through the body of the distributor. So hook that up to ground on the battery, and then we got this little spark tester, put that on any cylinder, any spark point. That to there. And that up to the negative on the battery. Then you should be able to spin it 
and see the spark. You should also be able to hear it sparking. I don't know how well that's going to work with the rain. But yeah, you should hear a little click for each cylinder and how you test the HEI distributor.